Hello and welcome to another shave video with me the Suffolk Shaver. Today we're going to be using um, samples I got from Neil that I mentioned uh, last week. Uh, so I'll quickly do that. But uh, how am I going to do it? What I'm going to do is do a lucky dip. I've got my uh, Aerosmith hat that I got last year whilst I was in Florida. So I'm just going to tip all the samples into the hat. There we come out. Not going to come out. Right. So they're all in the hat now. I'm going to give it a shake. I'm going to stick my hand in, pull one out. It's a uh, Holy Core Fougere Bouquet Special Edition. So now I've got to pause and get some kind of uh, matching aftershave to go with it, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've got my Southwark Shaver bowl, press the sample into the bowl there. And to match, I don't know if it's a fusier, but uh, it'll probably be a, a compliment. I hope it'll be a compliment to the scent of the soap, Irish Muse, aftershave, and the uh, matching balm. The razor I'm going to be using today, as I'm using a, a new ra uh, blade to me today, is a uh, variant from, from Parker. And the, Blades I've just got through eBay. This is the Gillette Nasset. It's in uh, good reviews on these, not seen a bad review yet. So, uh, and the uh, razor will be on set and three, I think, for me today. A little bit of an overhang on the Parker. Brush I'm using is the uh, Carnival 2 brush from. Uh, I see shaving brushes. Um, Ian Crichton no longer makes brushes, so uh, makes this one extra special. And uh, it was a gift from Kevy Shave, so thanks again, Kevy. And the blades come singly wrapped in the uh, wax paper with a very large wax dots. Uh, that's about it, I think, isn't it? And uh, and I'll probably be using the uh, Humphreys today. Cucumber, melon, nice and fresh. So let's get started. I've already put some uh, shaven oil on my neck. So I hope you've had a good start to the week. Sunday I had a nice relaxing shave with a shaver, though I did catch myself there. It's a, it's a very enjoyable shave nonetheless. It's quite a soft uh, soap. I'll so say it's more between sort of a, a cream and a croak. Very sticky consistency. strength. Now I thought I'd use a synthetic brush today as I've used a natural hair brush for the last few shaves. Doesn't seem to be Blowing up as uh, other soaps do. 
majority of it is in the knot anyway, so. It's got a nice shine to it. All of the soap is gone now, so it's obviously mixed well with the water. Just take it to the face now. And I need to add any more water, I can do so. Nice on the face. Price wise, I'm not sure. I'm sure it'll be sort of top end, sort of best part of $20 a tub. This is a special edition, so I'm not sure if it's a little extra than that, you know, a little bit more than that. It's a beautiful scent. Went to the barbers yesterday and got a haircut. That was overdue. Normally I walk in there and there's a few people waiting, but I walked straight in, sat straight in the seat. As you can hear, it's quiet today. And the last video, uh, the extractor fan was running. But, uh, it slipped my mind that uh, there's a switch just outside the bathroom door. I can just turn it off and it's not needed. So, let's go with the green. So I shaved Sunday, so I've got two days of growth. As you can hear, get good feedback. I was going to do a whole month of uh, samples. I think I would just do that sort of every other shave with samples. Synthetic has lost a hair lot. <laughs> Unusual.
the, the scent was sort of a, a powdery kind of scent to me. Oh yeah, I've got, got to wash the nose today. Hope I've not spoken too soon. Hope you had a good weekend. Watch in there, felt like that. Okay, I'll just pause here, rinse off, and uh, be back in a second. Okay, we're back again. Rather up for the second pass. Yeah, the uh, shave that shave I had Sunday. It's not, you know, I don't get a close shave like I would with a DE. Um, but listening to guys like uh, uh, Jeffrey Smith or Jeremy Smith, <laughs> as Spencer used to say. No, just don't go for the BBS. Just, uh, just a. Uh, Comfortable shave, smooth shave. And uh, Russell Barton said in his video to, uh, you know, if you don't get it on the first, first pass, you know, you've got another couple of passes, you can uh, sort of catch it on, you know, catch it on the next pass. Drop it down from three to two for the cross the grain. Glued it nice and smooth. Stick with the sort of the five and six blades that I like, but um, this uh, blade's been getting such good reviews. I thought I'd give them a go. Something there that I'll keep catching.
did apply a bit of styptic to my top lip, my chin. Um, I'm finding there's not a lot of uh, slickness from this soap. So it could be due to me not rinsing the styptic off fully. Thanks to those that have uh, been commenting, enjoying uh, replying to those. So I've got a few more new subscribers, so thank you very much if you're one of those. Second pass complete. I had uh, one comment that I saw this morning. To, sorry, I forget your name. But, uh, he tries to go against the grain like I do and he's um, finding it hard. You, know, you, can, you can try how others show you, but uh, if it doesn't work for you then you, know, you have to try something else or not bother going against the grain if that's, uh, if that's the case. If you're just sort of starting in wet shaving, just do it with the grain first and leave it leave it like that. And do what you're <coughs> comfortable with doing. I think this uh, variant makes it easier to go against the grain so it cuts more efficiently. And if you've got a razor that's too mild, or a blade that's too mild, it's not gonna, you're going to have to keep going over and over it. Could be down to um, <clears throat> beard growth as well, it depends on the direction of your beard growth.
and this is where an adjustable comes into its own. Whatever bee growth you've got, or how efficient you want that razor to be, you can adjust it, adjust it up or adjust it down. this audio feedback you get from this Parker. You know where to go back over one if you've got it right. See I can't hear nothing now because there's nothing there. the grain. where all the all your shave gear comes into into their own as I keep saying. No good soap but it's got slickness. Um, the brush that can get the uh, lather where it needs to be. An efficient razor like this. Where you don't have to keep going over and over and over again which could uh, cause irritation. Lovely smooth shape there. Skin feels lovely and soft. Just take the rest of the soap out of the knot. So I've just taken that out. Normally if that was a, uh, a natural hair brush there'd be a lot of water in the middle of that lather. Synthetics don't hold the water. I'm just putting this on to give get the properties of the soap or the lather in the skin. You can also feel around, see where you've missed. A little bit there.
Now getting your technique right, the angle of the razor. The DE is just not a DE though, no, it's all different. One might have a slight angle, different angle to another. I'll pause it here now, I think, and uh, rinse off, and I'll be back for the post shave. And we're back. I uh, just want to mention uh, a couple of comments from uh, previous couple of weeks. Um, Robin recently uh, asked me to use the electric shave. Uh, pre-shave for an electric shave that I used the other day for a post-shave. Uh, he wants me to use that as a pre-shave to see if it uh, makes a difference. I have done that in the past but um, I can't remember what the uh, results were. Um, Adam Chutter, he wants a shout out. He says he uses a R41 and a Gillette Tech and he also uses Perazzo. Uh, products and uh, Jeff White uh, wants me to use uh, Witch Hazel as a pre-shave um, so it'd be interesting to use that as a pre-shave not seen that on the camera before so uh, that's the comments this week or for today uh, if you've got any comments yourself then uh, obviously Put them below or uh, send me an email to the Suffolk Shaver at uh, gmail.com. So back to the post shave. Yeah, so I rinsed off with hot water, cold water, and uh, use a stip tick around of certain areas. As you can see, it's all stopped now. I've uh, overshaved a little bit there. So uh, now use the Humphreys cucumber. My skin feels absolutely fantastic at the moment. Smooth, conditioned, nice and soft. So that's the witch hazel. While that's drying off, we'll go for the stars of the shave. Razor was Parker variant. Set in three for the first pass and set in two for the... What's this? Yes, set and two for the second and third pass using the uh, Gillette Nasset for the first time. Stainless, very good blade, nice and smooth, comfortable. The uh, OC shaving brushes, that's the uh, Carnival 2 brush. Got sort of a purple stripe with sort of gold glitter in between. Very nice brush with a tuxedo 26mm or tuxedo style should I say. Uh, before all that I used the shave oil again on my neck. Humphrey's Witch Hazel. The soap was a sample from Neil so thanks very much again Neil. That's Holy Cow, Holy Cow as it's now known. Fuji Air Bouquet, special edition, very nice scent. It's not a strong scent, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful Fuji Air scent. Um, what else? Yeah, going to post shave now. Irish Muse, after shave. It's got a nice restrictor on the top there. A nice burn. It's not uncomfortable. It doesn't last long either. So that's a not sure if that's a fusier, but it's a nice complement to the soap. And then finish off with a matching balsam. 
Uh, this one doesn't have any kind of restrictor on the top there, so I have to bung the top up, draw my finger back until I get enough out. Yeah, sort of a milky consistency. Some moisture back on the skin. Fantastic shave. So there we are, another shave over. Thanks for watching, thanks for your likes, thanks for your comments. As I said, if you've got any comments, then uh, just leave them below or send them to my email. Have some great shaves, have a great week. Thanks for subscribing if you've subscribed recently. If you're not subscribed so far, then uh, please do so. And uh, click on the bell icon for notifications for future videos. So uh, as I say, have a good week, have some great shaves, and I'll see you at the end of the week for another shave. Cheers, bye. Yeah.